All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Iver Shakes. Hello, welcome back. Super Bowl has came and gone. We're going to give you our Super Bowl recap, talking about the back-to-back champs, question mark? Oh, All geez. right. What's up? Welcome back. Shenny, how we doing? Football season is over. There won't be another pickums for seven months. How do you feel? Feels great. Tough season, long season. And cap it off with an L, even tougher, even, even worse. longer, even worse. We average takes, swept jinxed. them, and average takes jinxed them. Yep. Braden was on it. it. Was on our head instantly as Instant. soon as the episode came out. <laughs> I was hoping for the benefit of the doubt. One of you guys were going to take the obvious Chiefs there. First shot, I didn't want them to win. I could never be on their side. See, I <clears throat> I did really bad this playoffs because I picked a lot of games and teams that I wanted to yeah. win. And there it is. Yeah. This too. was this was a bad play. The public was on the fucking Chiefs. Eighty percent had to have lost 80%, so much money. Yeah, Vegas. Vegas was the big loser here because all the futures. Everyone puts a future on the Chiefs now. Well, the first time in twenty years, the. Kansas City Chiefs had done something that hadn't been done for 20 fucking years. Back to back champs. Damn, it's been 20 years since Tom 20 did years it? since Tom did it. 304. Holy shit, I'm old. Or 0203. You, you don't remember that. I was fucking 22, 23. Five years old, six years old. Yeah, so <laughs> Chiefs done did it. Um, and honestly, kind of crazy because no one thought they were good. This year, the Chiefs had played their worst year of football. They were still getting some wins. They still won the division. They had, didn't lock up the first uh, seed. They had to play wild card weekend. Another wild card weekend champion, Chenny. We we should have seen it coming. That should we didn't even mention that last week. No. There had been wild card weekend champions for a lot of the years. It's probably the last. I mean, uh, when did the new rule come in? When the new playoff format? Five two, years ago? Uh, I thought it was like two, three years ago. Yeah. But um, nonetheless, yeah, this, our winners always win. This game was this game was boring and then great. Yeah. Very boring. The first quarter quarters. sucked. Three quarters of boring. The first quarter was zero zero the score, and it was literally like punt, 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 punt. A lot of defense. Punt. Yeah, a lot of defense. This game. There's a couple instances where this game changed and were huge changes. There is the Greenlaw injury on the sideline. 100%. Greenlaw 100%. is jumping up and down, jumping up and down. As soon as he plants his left play. leg to take a stride towards getting onto the field, Achilles ruptures. We've seen that multiple times mm-hmm. this season, Achilles injuries. Always in celebrations. Always. I swear, always when they're not playing. <clears throat> dude. Yeah. Something weird. It's like a non-contact. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what they say. Quick short steps, not long strides. It's the expl- explosiveness. It's that explosive always. long stride he was taking. Tears and fucking pops everything. and rolls up. He was taking the like longest stride he could have taken too. He took a long stride. Long stride. Long stride. But that that was number one that I think. Um, definitely changed this game because then you put in uh, maybe a faster linebacker, but an all-around worse linebacker. 100%. Uh, I can't even remember his name, number 48. Yeah, they exposed him too. They, they exposed him because for half, Travis Kelsey had one catch, one yard. Yeah. For two quarters of football in the Super Bowl, Travis Kelsey had one catch for one yard. And Pacheco was getting stuffed on the runs. Mm-hmm. The Chiefs looked like they couldn't do anything. Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner are a nice package. Yeah, and it's I. There's always a like a big key player injury in the fucking Super Bowl, and I hate to see it because the backup is just not <clears throat> not that good. Never that good. Yep. Not not the same. Definitely. And you played the whole year. You, like you're not even. It's not even like week two, and then you're like, oh, I'm back from injury. Let's fucking go. I'm back for the playoff run. You you play the whole fucking year and the then last game of the year. Yeah, yeah. last, last game of the year. You're fucking hype. You're fucking amped. It's exactly what you trained all fucking year for. Torn Achilles. Now you're out for the whole next year. Just to pray and hope. 
your team makes it in the playoffs. Yeah, it's going to be a long path ahead. Luckily, if he goes to Aaron Rodgers' doctor, which I'm a guarantee he does because it's the new... Aaron Rodgers calls everyone who tears their Achilles, Achilles. and goes, I got a doctor. Yeah, I got a, I know I a got guy. A guy. I know a guy. I know, I, a guy. I know the fucking Chinese, he, Chinese rocket scientist. Yeah. <laughs> he just absolutely knows Achilles. Crazy. You'll be back next year. Yeah. No You'll be back a week. He's four. like a god, Achilles. Yeah. <laughs> He's revolutionized. Actually, I don't know. I need to see J.K. Dobbins come back. Yeah, we we, we got to see the round of guys come back who went to his doctor. Quarterbacks don't really. I mean, I saw Kirk Cousins dancing on the NFL fucking award ceremony. True. <clears throat> Did we all see that? I mean. I didn't see that, no. He was just straight up dancing, throwing himself back. like He was in, though, September, right? Or not September, uh, October, I think. Yeah, it was early, middle of the season. I guess early. I mean, when did they play the Chargers? Because he was still there. Week five, week six. Yeah. So, I mean, it had to have been like middle of the season, week eight, right around there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. We'll see how they they come back. Because, I mean, Aaron, Aaron came back, but he didn't come back. Yeah. They put him on the active roster, and then it was like a week later, he's like, well, I'm not really back. I know. And then they Rogers. just kept sucking, and then he was like, yeah, definitely not back. That's such an Aaron I think it's man. best for me to not be back. <laughs> That's how that the, this year went for Aaron. And you know what the NFL is going to do to him next year? Monday Night Football, fucking same exact thing, week one. Week one, Monday Night Football. Yeah. We got to see this again. <laughs> MetLife turf. Sorry, bud. Sorry. You got to do it again. Again. <laughs> um, another one was the Muff Punt. Muff Punt. The um oh, yes, 49ers, the the 49ers hits leg. the yeah, so I don't know if you consider a muff punt, but hits the guy's calf foot and then it was a dog pile. Chiefs, I would definitely consider it muffed because the second guy had a chance to grab it. No, I mean, it's, those reflexes you, you just ha- gotta grab, follow the ball, so grab it, and follow the ball. It's you can't probably the grab it while running. Fault. Or it's the returner's fault for not being louder, saying yeah. kill, 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 get away, get away, yeah. or killed it too late. But forever you were taught, feel that ball in the air. I know. Those guys can't touch you until you catch that ball. And if you wave your arm, can't touch you at all. Yeah. Your guy hits into you, then that's your own damn fault. That's his fault. But, yeah, you definitely have to do more, make more noise as a return or something. Yeah. Um, That was a huge one because the Chiefs felt like they were dead as a fucking doornail, rusty doornail. I think they just kicked a field goal. But – it was a, the whole change of, oh, fuck. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Because in my mind, I was like, all right, 49ers get the ball back here. Good stop on fucking fourth down. Um, Yeah, not a field goal. What the fuck? Sorry. Anyways, big stop on fourth down. Fucking, I'm thinking the 49ers get the ball back. They're going to drive down the field. Hopefully, the 49ers can get a field goal. That's what I was hoping in my mind. Because that would have kind of sealed it, made it a bigger gap. Yeah. And muff punt. Brutal. Brutal, bro. Whole momentum. They got the ball in like the 25, 26. Yeah. And did nothing with it. Uh, and they, scored. they scored. Oh, did they score that? that that's how the... No, the Chiefs did. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, meant, yeah. I meant the four... Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I the, was thinking... The Chiefs, that, that, that was number two of Tide's turning. And then number three is the overtime coin toss. Yep. When... The 49ers, I mean... Did you see that 49ers didn't know about the rule yeah, change? Yeah. And, and the Chiefs studied it all year? Chiefs studied it and then triple-backed on it this week, going, hey, yeah. just so you guys know... During the playoffs, practice it all week. Yeah, practice all week during the playoffs. This is a huge one. Because in this situation, you win the coin toss. The 49ers absolutely shot themselves in the foot there. This was a game all the way up. It was a fucking awesome second half. Uh, the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes just knows how to win games. Like, he knows when there's two minutes left, he has to score, he goes and does it. There's 13 seconds left, he has to score, he goes and does it. Like, this man is six for six in – Seven for seven. Or seven for yeah, seven so in seven. these that's, that's winner-take-all last drive of the game. He is 100%. Tom Brady was what? 50%. Yeah, 48. 48%. I think Drew Brees was 53 for six. 100%. Seven for seven. <laughs> this man knows how to come back and win games. Like, 
And I understand you put that in your head and you go, we're not going to give the ball to the Chiefs. No. But with the rule change in that both teams get the ball, you want to score. You want the ball second. Yeah. Because you want to see what the first guy does. Yeah. Because yeah. you could it's either go win the game or we got a tie. You yeah, you could go. Oh, field goal! They they scored a field goal. We have a field goal or a touchdown now. Yeah. Oh, they scored a touchdown. We have a touchdown to get, and then we could win the game with a two pointer. Or you tie it up and go ball to them. Chiefs came out and said it right after the game. If we would have got, um, a t- if they would have got a touchdown and we got a touchdown, we would have went for two to win or take all. Because yeah. that. I mean, they're definitely confident, probably more confident than a Kyle Shanahan in this situation. But an absolute filibuster of a decision. That's crazy. Yeah. They, that, that shows that they were thinking about it. Kyle Shanahan wasn't telling his guys about it, so they probably wouldn't even know about the two-point yeah, conversion. Yeah, he, he wasn't prepared. Field goal. Was For not sure. prepared. This yeah. is under-preparedness. And I'm thinking about it Bad like, coaching. I don't know. There's both ways to see it. You can see, like, what Bob just said made a lot of sense, but you can see it. You want the ball, we're going to score, and then I have the best defense in the league. But at the same time, Patrick Holmes just scored, fucking came back from a 10-point lead. And your defense was just on the field. Yeah, so you're, you're making a decision. It's a game flow. You kind of try to read what – if you think your defense can make one stop after you score Which a fucking Which they touchdown. had been doing. Yeah. Like, they they had been, but like we said, Patrick Mahomes going into this game was 6-for-6 six six in winner-take-all yeah. in like, the now 7-for-7. Seven seven. And he had, like, a minute 20. With two timeouts, had a lot of time, and then a lot. What a lot of people are saying is, it would have ended right then at that twelve. If that twelve seconds went down, no, the winner or the the situation is you have a team that gets the ball, and the opposing team also gets the ball and gets to see it through. Yeah, they have to see their whole possession through. It's not finished by the clock anymore. It, it's yeah, gonna have it's, a weird it's like a whole new game. I saw yeah. that. It's, gonna, it's a, yeah. So it was, if that first quarter would have ended, it would have just went to the second, the second quarter. There's gonna be a weird. Yeah, that would have been weird. But there's gonna be the let's say I don't know. Will the game does the game end if the 49ers get the ball, the Chiefs get the ball, and then the next person to score wins? No, I'm saying the 49ers go down normal what they did, scored field goal, and then Mahomes turnover or something. Turnover done. Game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. That's what something's gonna happen. So you have to you have to see the you have to see both possessions through. Yeah, this is the, the first the game time. no longer gets ran by the clock, which is the first time that it's became a thing since they made the rule. Like this was the first time we've seen this instance. Yeah. Um, because what i can't remember what bills happened last chiefs. year or was it bills chiefs yeah, it wasn't the, the eagles in last year's super bowl it was bills chiefs when yeah 13, 13 seconds, seconds and then they got the ball and then one score and bills didn't even get to see the field for, twice i think well that's that was the big and then the, they made the rule change after that i don't know why they made that type of rule change why not just make it college style let's do shootout oh, yeah. but i don't know if they want the the points for the over and such like that yeah <laughs> Probably not. They don't want to factor that in as well. That's bullshit. That's, I think the teams are just so good that. that they can score every – it'll be 100, 100 games. It, and it definitely could be. <laughs> Defenses would give up, and they would be like, pray to the kicker miss. <laughs> but then you have to go for two after the first overtime. Yeah, that that's what I like. That's what I wanted to see. That, that's what I liked. That's what I like about that is now kickers are no longer a part of it. We can't pray that your kicker misses. It's either take a field goal. Or when you score a touchdown, you go for two. Yeah, that's and gonna that's be how you that's how you win or lose the game. But I one I don't, play. I don't know if we'll ever see that, which is weird. I don't think so. I don't they think they're for the whole quarter, both teams, and that the drives have to be fucking run, 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 yeah. tie, and then let's go, let's go back to the next drive. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. But the Chiefs do it again. Um. We talked about Travis in the first quarter, the second quarter. He had seven catches for 84 yards, something like that. 
I thought that's what he had. It was nine for 92. Nine for 92 is what he finished with? Yeah, or nine for 98 or something. I was shook. Maybe it was 10 for 98. Damn, he got 100 yards? Yeah, yeah dude. What the fuck? It didn't even 93, seem like that. Nine for 93. Nine for 93. So yeah. he went one catch for one yard yeah. and then eight catches for 92 yards. And a touchdown, yeah. right? Or no? No touchdown. He right before the me Cole Hardman touchdown, uh, he got tackled at like the four. Yeah. Um, Miko Hardman ends up saving the day, wide ass open, wide ass open. They called hot dog again. Yeah, yep. it was the easiest play. They ran it. Yeah, I mean, we all saw it coming. It felt like, yep, I did roll out. Guy's gonna be open. Like, game was over <clears throat> at overtime. As soon as, soon as, as the they the ball, kick the field goal, yeah, as you, as if you don't over. score a touchdown, you don't so score a touchdown tough. versus the Chiefs, you're out. I was you're already, done. We were already texting the group chat game over. You're it's done. Um, but the funny thing is, is that I guess you want to say, uh, what's the guy who does the mines, messes with the mines? Oz. Oz. Um, he went to the Jets. And talked to the Jets team earlier this season. And one of his acts or performs that he put on was he asked Miko Hardman to think of something, blah, blah, blah. It ended up getting to the bottom where it was going to be your team. What he said, the way he worded it was your team is going to face the 49ers and beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl. That's what Oz ended up predicting. Miko Hardman was then later released or traded to the Chiefs and the Chiefs beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Oh, shit. So the Oz did not predict that the Jets were going to beat the 49ers. He said, your team will beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl. I just got oz That's fucking amazing. That was his prediction he had on... Because he he asked... I think what he did was ask him, who do you think you'd play in the Super Bowl? And they both came up with the 49ers, and he said, your team will beat the 49ers or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Wow. But that was like in spring training or not, not spring training, but preseason. Anymore. I saw it. I didn't see that. Yeah, I Did saw you it. See it. Yeah. But that, yeah, that, that was, was one of the things that, kind of, that kind of blew my mind a little bit was like, That's damn, he's, he did say your team. He did not say the Jets. Yeah. And everyone got hyped because he, he was obviously on the Jets at that point. Right, exactly. I yeah. want to see the Jets versus Chiefs AFC Championship game now. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. Nope. Um, Hell nah. But we did kind of touch on it last podcast where we see Patrick Mahomes in this quarterback ranking situation. But I saw a side by side of him and Tom Brady through their age 28 season. They both had three Super Bowls. Mahomes has one more Super Bowl MVP. Mahomes has three Super Bowl MVPs. Tom had two. But Patrick Mahomes has more yards, touchdowns. Like he's fucking good, dude. Dude, he's up there, but the age I'm 28 season, yeah. he has better numbers than Tom Brady. And seeing how the last kind of generation we just had kind of all fizzled out, he has 10 more years of this too. Well, especially the way that the league is with quarterback getting hit and injuries and you know, like as long as he stays healthy. He is on pace to be breaking Tom Brady. I mean, and Tom Brady played till he's 44. So those records are hard to break because he played really well late into his career. Yeah. They yeah. always talk about Tom Brady had two Hall of Fame careers. You think Pat plays till he's 44? Who knows? Patrick's making the most money in which it is the first time in NFL history where the most expensive player per cap won the Super Bowl. First time ever? First time ever the most expensive player had won the Super Bowl because he renegotiated his contract this last offseason after the Super Bowl. Damn. And he is the highest capped player in the league. First time ever. Boss moves. Boss moves. How much is he making? Everyone taught uh, 50 million, something like that. Something crazy. Can I get a dollar, please? (laughs) Um, But, man, the Right when we thought Tom Brady was out of this fucking league, <laughs> right when we thought, hey, boys, fucking things wide open now, boys. Tom Brady's gone. Now we have a new one. We got to fuck another one. 
He's got three chips before he's 30. Yeah. Did you, did you see what Aikman 30. said? Could, he could have five. Did you see what 30. Aikman said five years ago? Yeah. On Twitter, there was a tweet that said Patrick Mahomes already has 40% of Aikman's yards, 25% of his touchdowns, and 8% of his games or something like that. Mm. Troy Aikman quote tweeted and said, hit me up when he has 33% of my Super Bowls. Well, now, buddy, we're five years later, and he has 100% of your Super Bowls. <laughs> Somebody hit this man up, please. Please. Aikman, you are knocked off the list, brother. Uh, but I'm thinking he's starting to creep into top five, whether we like it or not. This is new Michael, of all time. He knew Michael Jordan took Kobe Bryant. I mean, the, yes, this will end up being that type of conversation because people are going to say, well, Tom Brady was a cheater. Patrick Mahomes has a clean slate. You know, like that, yeah. those type of things are going to start getting thrown around because Tom Brady was suspended for deflate gate. Uh, Bill Belichick got in trouble for spy gate, you know, like didn't have a clean championship run. But when you're on top is when they start to hate you. Yeah. And this is when they start to hate you. And they start looking harder. They start to hate during your parade, your own fans. Yes. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Ho, ho. Yeah. Something we got to touch on, though. You guys weren't that. even thinking about it. I wasn't. 22 Chiefs fans shot during their championship parade. One dead. One dead RIP. This sucks. Because now we're mixing sports championship celebrations with mass murders. Mass yeah. attempted murders. All from an argument. All from an argument about probably can wiggling your way through the line or getting up front to yeah. see the parade and such. Oh, you bumped into me. You know, why'd Buddy Crazy. have an AK anyway? Yeah, that's wild. I I don't know, man. The world's gone crazy. It's gonna have to be like a paid event now. Kind of suck. Security. Twenty-two people were shot. Nine were children yeah. under the age of fifteen. Damn, really? Yeah. Yes. Fucking insane. Absolutely insane. Devastating. Yeah. Devastating for the families. I don't know what to say about that. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to say. What doing shooting at the freaking parade? Chiefs fans are crazy. We they last year was a a bank heist fucking guy. Really? Oh, the, who what, oh, what was it? Chiefs Aholic? He was robbing banks. Yeah, that's the name. Chiefs of Holic was robbing, was going to road games, robbing banks on his way there. What a what a good guy! What a good guy! Now we're a year later. Now we got shootings at the parade. Chiefs fans, did you see that? The the fuck the The, video though. That you're talking about? No, the TikTok of the first down mishap. Mishap? No, I was talking about the video. I think it was uh, uh, just a scoreboard glitch up. You think so? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he ran for the first down, and that was he didn't run for the first down though. He ran like five yards shy. You can't trust the yellow line or the clock. In, in I can trust game. the try, trust the orange markers on the sideline. That yes, but not and the. He, he wasn't close to the orange marker, buddy. Yeah, I think that was. Just I think a, videos CBS. are edited. CBS. Yeah. Videos yeah. could be edited just to trick you. Yeah, I didn't know if I one stat I did see in the three Super Bowls the Chiefs have zero holding calls. Yeah, clean game. Clean team always wins. What the fuck? <laughs> no holding calls? What the fuck? Clean team There's never wins. been a game without a holding call. Who's paying the refs? Nobody. Back from home was $50 million, buddy. Taylor Swift. Oh, did you guys Taylor see Swift. Did you guys see that um, Brandon Marshall said that Kanye West and his girlfriend bought tickets for the Super Bowl to sit right in front of Taylor Swift's box. So every time they zoomed in on Taylor, they would see Kanye Kanye West. West. And Taylor Swift got Kanye West ejected from the Super Bowl. Yeah, Did you see what What? Kanye said? Kanye's team said... Kanye? Oh, I didn't see Kanye, but I saw Kanye's team said those are not true. But when a team responds that quick, they're true. That's crazy. (laughs) Taylor Swift got Kanye ejected from the Super Bowl. That's why Taylor Swift and Roger Goodell were talking in the booth. Taylor Swift and Roger Goodell were talking before the game. Dave saw that. Dave put a Twitter. Yeah, Dave said, this is not good. This is not good, yeah. Uh, That's crazy. That's crazy, man. NFL's rigged. NFL's rigged like a motherfucker. NFL's rigged. 
wild, it's just like the WWE now. Has to be WWE. And no, Kanye said he didn't get ejected. He just went to YG's box. Did so. we see him? <laughs> I didn't see him once. I didn't want to see him. He had his oh, own. Oh, you're a Swifty. He had his own uh, Super Bowl what, commercial. What, wait, what was that head nod when I said you're a Swifty? You gave one of the maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. I'm more of a Swifty than a fucking Kanye fan. Whoa, that's crazy. But he sucks. Whoa, that's even crazier. No, he does. He stinks. All right, you heard it here first. Shenny certified Swifty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, <laughs> the videos I see in the nightclubs. <laughs> oh, I've heard of Travis. Nope. Oh, you are a Swifty. You are a Swifty. And my friend Jason. Did you see Jason belly bumping after the fucking <laughs> concert? Yeah, the best right videos of someone was taking Taylor and fucking Travis, and all of a sudden they just go to the DJ booth. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Jason was fading. Belly thrusting with the Lucha Libre mask. But he was fading, walking out. Did hilarious. you see what he said on the New Heights podcast? Yeah. Found the Lucha Libre mask on the floor, on the dance floor. <laughs> and Travis was like, did you at least give it a little wrench? He goes... <laughs> When you find a Lucha Libre mask, you just put it on. <laughs> you just put it on. He was like, you, you, you give it a little rinse out. A little ring out. A little and... ring and rinse. Nope. You just put it on. He was too faded for that. Oh. Yeah, faded. Yeah. We but he was have, gone. Did I you did... see the video? They they recorded Travis and Taylor walking, like holding hands. And then you just see Buddy just stumbling on behind <laughs> them. They're like, that's my 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 player went in a cut scene. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah, I mean, I just like laughing at the jokes at this point because I'm laughing through the pain, Chiefs. Yeah. yeah back right. to back. Yeah, and, and they're in your division for you know, three out guy. of four that they've I mean, they're in your fucking AFC. I, I can handle them. Doesn't seem like it. You haven't done much to stop them. You haven't had any quarterback in three years. You haven't done much to stop them. It's all right. You haven't had a quarterback in three years. What do you? So what do you call Kenny Pickett? Can you call him Mr. Pickett? Mr. Picks? No. He's the new Mr. Picks a lot. One. He's the new I Mr. have to respect Relevant. him. As of right now. He's the yeah. new Mr. Irrelevant. Can you comment on Mr. Bisky? Had a good time. Not your time anymore. See ya. So that was a good time, but not a long time, not a fun time. Nope. Do you miss kissing titties? Me? Do that. No, he can, he can leave. He so can, you don't. I miss open the door for titties. him on his way out. Do you, do, do you miss and kiss titties? No. No. All right. Hmm. You heard it here first. Jenny does not miss kissing titties. <laughs> So we give an early Super Bowl game. Way too early. You 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 read my mind. Way too early. Super Way Bowl too game. early Super Bowl picks. Way too early. I'm gonna give you one that's just gonna blow your guys' minds. I think oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you're gonna blow our minds. I think forty. I'm gonna go, go Detroit Lions and the New York Jets. Wow, that's not the team I thought you were gonna say. Is that is that mind blowing though? Th- those are two teams that don't really think you'd see in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a that's a matchup of uglies. That's yeah. bumping uglies right there. Yeah, it is. That <laughs> that's is a bumping two, uglies. Two fucking crying fan base. <laughs> crying. Yes. Yes. Crying. They've been sad. I'm gonna go 49ers Ravens. 49ers Ravens. It's a crime that I'm even doing that to them because I just jinxed the fuck out of them. Did it's a crime. What happens when that Uh, what are some teams that I may want to jinx? I'm gonna go the Dallas Cowboys (laughs) versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Three P. Three P. Three P. I hate you. <laughs> Three P. Well, Chiefs Cowboys Super Bowl next year. Uh, this was this was a fun football year. I mean, Big Cat always says it. You'll never know when you've watched your last football game. Enjoy it while it's going on, even though there's shit games. Even though you hate those Monday night unders that fucking hit every week. Enjoy football while it lasts. We got a long ways to go. You got the draft at the or the combine at the end of the month. 
football negotiating free agents at the end of the month and the week after the combine or something like that. This is the best time because football can take a little back step in my brain and then our specialty baseball comes to the forefront. And I can start thinking about baseball's the back. real team. Guess who's the back? The real fucking team. We're all fans of. Back yeah. again. Padre's back. back. Comment on the Padres. Is there a fucking free training hats? Ugly. Ugly. I agree. You don't like the yellow? No. Nope. Brown. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna get one. What do you guys think about the uniforms, real quick? The uniforms are ugly. So I got some insider info that when Nike took over the jerseys, they purchased the nameplates and so on from Majestic. And so they were using Majestic's nameplates this whole time while in development of their own. And then now that they have their own, they went with their own this year and everyone hates it because they, it's way smaller. And then when you get smaller, the names look all funky. They're way curved. They are way more curved. There's way more curvature, and they're way little. Like, once those people wear those jerseys out into spring training games, like the high 300s, you're not going to be able to see last names. Those those high seats, you're they fucking... Called, they have a name for those? Nosebleeds? There you go. It's okay. Those nosebleeds, and I have sat there a time or two. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong. But those nosebleeds... You're not going to be able to see a damn thing. Nope. And they're ugly. A lot of, uh, there's a lot of changes too. And a lot of people are mad. Like I, the colors are, the colors are different. Like the material is different. The numbers have their own name or like plates as well. So those are going to be different. The, um, they change a lot of things. Like if you look at per se, the Dodgers uniform, the Dodgers jersey used to be split in the curve mark between the O and the D. There's like a, a, a just a little line because it's uh, cursive. And it used to split at the line. Now it splits the D like the Padres D used to. It splits right at the D. And so everyone's hating that because it doesn't look great. Like when you split letters in half, if you ever want to wear your jersey open, they you don't line up. Yeah, no, good for them. I hope their jersey sucks. That's <laughs> awesome. No, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> but a lot of people complaining about the jerseys. I, yeah. I've been hearing it. I it's... had no idea that the All Star Game jerseys were the, were the same ones. Didn't even notice. They didn't change. No, the All Star jerseys they wore during the All Star Game. There are these jerseys now. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I didn't notice at all. But the all jerseys were ugly. No, they were ugly. But the nameplate and all that, so that was their help. test run. Oh, uh, really? The, the texture and stuff. And no one gave a shit. No one watches the All-Star game, though. Yeah, no one cared. If they would have done that shit during fucking ESPN broadcast, yeah. everyone's going to shit themselves. Be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> no, but... Oh, how was yeah, cool. Numbers are lower, weird, smaller, fucking MLB signs, weird, smaller, fucking. I think it's cool that it's the MLB Why'd they sign. Change jersey? Huh? Why'd they change jerseys? Nike's fully doing everything now. Nike bought them. Oh, really? They get to, they get to customize them. Oh. Yeah. Well, they fucking have everything. Weird. They'll change it. They're generally pretty good about if the public fucking hates something, they'll fucking. Might take a whole year though. Yeah, might take a whole year, but next year I'm sure they already, already printed. Yeah, I'm sure they're way too deep in it, and they're seeing them roll out, and they're going, "Oh fuck!" Yeah. Oh well. Fuck. People are going side by side comparisons, and the names are just so much smaller. Like that is the number one, my number one takeaway so far. Yeah. Player branding went down. Went down. Like they're like fuck the players. Yeah. Now everyone and gonna- the MLB patch moved. It's yeah. not on the like neckline. It's on up uh, right above the name. Yeah, and I, it's only MLB colors, right? It doesn't change with the. Oh, I don't. I don't teams. know. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's red, white, blue again. Or yeah, whatever. like the MLB color. Yeah, red and blue. Um. Yeah, I'm super excited for baseball. Even though it seems like a lot of Padre fans are down. Yes, 
a lot of things have changed. Yes, we don't have a superstar that we had last year or multiple. And today, Cashman came out and said he's not looking to extend him. Well, I think Juan Soto made that a point when trading for him. He was telling everyone he is not going to sign an extension. So, Padre fans, start thinking about signing him next offseason. <laughs> if we miss out on Roki, that'd be lit. We get him back. We get him back and pull a, a Raldis Chapman on the fucking Yankees, like the Yankees did to the Cubs. Yeah, fuck yeah. Took their prospects That'd just for a, a year ball, loaner. A big ball move. That's a big ball move yeah, for AJ nice. Peller. That's yeah. like a, a life career saving move. We for get AJ both. Peller. Fuck it. We're back. We're back to fucking top dollar. We just needed to get out of it until next year. He's twenty twenty five. People were saying that he's after twenty twenty five season. Yeah, he's twenty twenty five free agent. He's not a twenty twenty four class. Oh, yeah. Well, that so the moves that he made, AJ Preller made to get more international money this year. That was for this, yeah, draft pool for this. But I think it but ends they, in it, June or something. Yeah, like yeah, when the draft happens. Yeah. So he is a next, basically, twenty twenty five. He'll be a rookie in yeah. MLB. Yeah, correct. Rookie, the rookie of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Rookie, the rookie, San Diego. So we won our shit. Already wearing our shit. Shout out you, Darvish. Didn't get fined for fucking pandering. Shout out Hideo Nomo. Pandering? Yeah. Can you hear about? There's Okay, I'll tell you a really quick story. In 2016, 15, Team, US, Team Japan played the Dodgers. Adrian Gonzalez was just retired or whatever, mm-hmm. and he was hired by the Dodgers to be a, like an analyst or something. And so he flew to Japan, gave him a fucking care package. Or I'm sorry, I'm that's wrong. Team Mexico played Team Japan ex- exhibition game. And Adrian Gonzalez's brother is the manager of Team Mexico at that time. Uh, Adrian Gonzalez. Dodgers gave Adrian Gonzalez the care package. Hey, slide this to Shohei Otani. Say, hey, welcome to fucking MLB, blah, blah, blah. We're... Here's a gift from the Dodgers. Oh, yeah, really? and it was just like clothes or whatever. Probably a handwritten note somewhere in there. Probably fucking hundreds tucked uh-huh. away. But they find the Dodgers for doing that. Oh shit! Yeah. Also, oh, they no. And Roki was in like tampering he gave, almost. He gave Roki <clears throat> the care package. No, he that was to. Otani. Roki was wearing. No, but, but I'm saying you Darvish gave. You Darvish gave yeah. Roki. Yeah. One of the well, teams. that's what you think you Darvish did, but Roki was in Padres shirt, Padres shorts. Yeah. Unless he's going out and ordering that shit. But no, you know, someone gave it to him. Somebody. I don't know. Mo has been scouting over there for us. He is a former Dodger pitcher signed to the Padres as an international scout of whatever. And he's been over there talking to their manager, talking to him. And he's a legend for Asian culture because he came over and was like the best. Yeah. Like Hideo Nomo was a great pitcher. Yeah. And he's on our team now. I'm lit. I hope the ones we got this year are ballers. I Lefty, was just Lefty hyping. I was just hyping all the friends, all my friends up on the chant after Wu Suck Go strikes someone out is going to be electric. Yeah. You suck. You suck. Because his name is Wu Suck Go. You suck chants are going to go crazy. Yeah, we hope so. He better be good because if he sucks, I'm yelling "you suck" towards him. That's fine. Either way, I'm gonna have a great gonna time with the you suck. you suck. <laughs> I'm gonna have a great time with you suck because his name is Wu Suck. Yeah, we're still Chan Hassan, so handsome. Oh, that's forever in my no. bag until he's not a Padre. <laughs> it, right. it is Hassan Kim. Kim. Oh, that's what it is. Ha-Sung. I go Hassan, so handsome, so handsome, so handsome. Oh, so fucking dude. beautiful, man. I hope he's a Padre forever, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be. Shemmy doesn't want him to be. I mean, what he's going to get on the market, there's no point. He already makes a lot for a second baseman, eight mil. He's the third baseman now, supposedly. No, yeah. Manny's back. Manny actually is ahead of his throwing program. Is he really? He's, he's been throwing for six, over six weeks. Yeah, he's crossed the diamond he's or built different. He went to the same sauce. fucking uh yeah, kind of soft. He went to the soft. same surgery as Aaron Rodgers did. <laughs> Swear to God. Damn. Neil Neil Atrachi. Neil deGrasse Tyson? No. Neil deGrasse Tyson? No. Neil Atrachi. I told you rocket scientists, no fucking Achilles. Whatever. He does all the ACLs and shit. 
Dr. James Andrews. Tom Brady called no. me. He does fucking Tommy John. <laughs> I mean, he had an elbow surgery. Who? Do you think Tom Brady called? Oh, he had elbow surgery? Manny? Yeah. 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 Never what does mind. Tom Brady know about elbow never surgery? Mind, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. We're getting too far into baseball without this being a baseball podcast. Baseball coming soon. The next podcast you'll get from us is going to be Padres. We're going to discuss, talk deep about the roster, coaching change, um, what you're going to see out there on the field, who you're going to see, maybe some names you don't know, who you should. Um, but for now, there's nothing wrong being Wait, average. Did you won the Gatorade color? Yeah, I know. That's fucking lit, actually. It was actually no Gatorade. No, it was purple. purple. Yeah, it took two hours to get there. My bet cash, none. <laughs> Uh, All right, another one being average. See ya.